hi welcome to my channel um i just spent the last hour and 20 minutes recording a video and then as i went to edit it i realized that i hadn't turned on my sound <laughs> so i'm gonna play back the video and i'm gonna put this in place of what you would normally see of me chatting away to you and talking through it and all that lot um and just talk you through what i did today and that, that's that's basically what I'm going to do okay so bear with me while I figure out how I'm gonna do it all and we'll go from there so I started off by saying hi how is everybody Daryl came in and said hi and I started filling in my tracker um, I'd done most of yesterday then I realized that one of the previous days I'd actually done the wrong way around um, I had a good old gavel at you and flipped through it all and then just started filling in my um, trackers for yesterday so um, I felt a bit crappy yesterday but I wasn't sure what I was going to do today so I had to get my 14,000 steps in to get green as I call it and then I just went around and did some outlining mainly because it looks nice you know if you outline as you go it's not such a big job at the end of the month and then it just it looks pretty and then I flick through it a little bit more I'm gonna say and then a hell of a lot I know I am it's just I'm actually watching this as I'm talking um, yesterday I made this tracker so here's a video about that <laughs> there you go um, this I made last night um, I'm binge watching both Gotham and Westworld at the moment I alternate one night I do Gotham one night I do Westworld so I'm doing a tracker so that I know basically where I am for each one um, there you go Look, bang, 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 bang. Uh, the Gotham one is two lines per season and the West, well, which is the, the top tracker there, the second tracker at the bottom is Westworld, and that is only one line per season, it's only run the third season of that. Um, I did a little tag there so that I can find it again quite quickly, and uh, used my Tombow Fudunusuki pen to do the title. Um, it does thicker lines anyway, as you can see, but then I actually thickened up the downstroke just that little bit more to make it look a little bit bolder really so there you go seasons one two three four season five and then one two three of um westworld and then i filled in to what i've done so far just so that um i knew for when i went off to watch it last night so there we go now i've got today's pen and i'm filling in my tracker I also pulled out the card for today and tomorrow. The card today was about um, bullying or feeling worthless about yourself. Um, you can see me here pointing away at it and all that lot. Basically, um, you know, don't be the people that are making somebody feel worthless or if it's you that's feeling worthless and you need somebody to talk to, feel free to PM me or anybody that you see regularly in my live we are all willing to sit and chat with you okay don't allow those voices whether they are inside or whether they are outside to become that much of a problem that you feel like you cannot cope okay um then i wrote something along the lines of um uh, feeling worthless maybe bullied get help and talk to people don't let them win and then tomorrow's card was actually a complete sort of flip of that and it was talking about um have you had maybe a business idea or something like that um a money making idea um in which case it's probably better that you put it off maybe until the weather gets a little bit colder again it's spring here in the uk at the moment or spring is coming at the moment so i'm only doing a voice over go on off you go off what, you go! What voiceover? So, whatever idea you've had, it might be an idea to leave it until it gets a little bit colder. Um, if you're in the money at the moment, don't get greedy and lazy with it. Um, we've been very busy today. We've done lots of household chores, Daryl and I. Um, I've stripped the beds, I've done the laundry, um, I've done vacuuming all around the house. I have now um, added the bathroom to that list, which is awesome. And uh, here I am just syncing up my planners, chatting through it. Um, I haven't got much on. 
<coughs> Alex has got a resting show on the 18th of April but it doesn't look like that's going to go ahead it will have to be recorded and put out over YouTube it's my mum's birthday next month you know just stuff like that really and then I thought right I need to decorate journal pages for today and tomorrow so I went ahead and did that and um, yeah I went with blues for um, today because you know you never know quite dark down in the bottom here I do I do love like that color I've just put down there that's ink and it oh, it just looks so nice I should have left it to dry naturally but I got a bit like fed up with it all so um, I don't like waiting so I got my heat gun out and, and used that which it always looks a little bit paler I think sometimes mainly because the color isn't pulled in that one place it gets moved about by the heat gun whereas if you leave it the the fact that it sits there that much longer just seems to make it that much darker i then go through and i dry the other side i always dry the other side as well because then it helps um it just helps it dry that much quicker okay if you if you don't allow it to dry that much or if you don't dry it from the other side it could still be a bit damp now this is me doing the other side of the page this is like the next day and um, I went for sort of browns. I'm a bit off camera here. I'm so sorry about that. But um, I was actually talking to my son as well on FaceTime at the same time as this. He phoned me up. He's bored. He's at home. He's stuck and he's bored. So I was chatting away to him while doing this. And then I was like, look, dude, I'm in the middle of doing a video. Fuck off, you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, I put too much water down. The siren's going off outside. It's bedlam. I tell you, the apocalypse is here. Oh, I think that was a fire engine. Ooh. Um, I was looking at something online here with Daryl. You can't see that because this is over the top of it. But I was looking for something. I can't even remember what it was now. God, it's dreadful, isn't it? I literally have just recorded it and now I can't remember. That was me telling you about the mess I've made. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to flatten your page before you actually draw on it close your book for about 10 minutes or so go off and do something else and then come back um and here i was talking about the dot grid i may not bother with the dot grid in my journal from now on because i can't see it once i've put the paint down um i've got this little doohickey here this is a laser level for decorating and i was showing you about the fact that once you've lined it all up and i turned my lot off to make it a bit easier it is straight it's it's a fantastic little thing and then I just went through telling you about how you can pit it up and it'll make a straight line and, and all of that lot. So <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic thing to and I may well just use that in future instead of going through the cost of printing dot grid. I mean I'll do it myself, but obviously I've got to pay for my ink. And printing up like on this, this was, you know, set a hundred odd pages of dot grid I did, both sides. And I was sort of like, well, I can barely see the dot grid now because I slap a load of paint down and, you know, whatever else and all of that lot. Um, this, uh, I'm totally off camera here and I didn't even realise, it's so annoying. This was me inking up um, some bits and bobs. That's a sticker Daryl gave me. And then I decided I was going to add something else and I chose quite a large piece, mainly because it's pretty and I like it. Why not? And I'm chatting away to you about inking it up and I'm not even on fucking camera. Um, then about how, uh, oh yeah, to get uh, to peel it, stickers, it's, I find it usually a lot more helpful if you use a uh, pokey tool. I always call it a pokey tool. I don't know what the correct term. An awl or something similar to that. It just helps you peel it that much quicker. And then I realised that I hadn't followed the rule of um, odd numbers that everybody seems to have in regards to collaging. I've actually got four items down there. Um, so I added in this extra little bit that comes off of the days of the week washi. Um, then I was talking about a um, uh, like a sort of dark backgroundy type border. Um, I did this on my Are You My Mummy page and um, I use a watercolour pencil to do that. And it just gives it that little bit of darkness 
Um, this gives it a bit more depth. Yeah, see, I showed you there. Look, there's the are you, my mummy. And then I was talking about stenciling on the page as well, about how stenciling or using background stamps um, could add that extra something. And then I decided I was going to uh, print out this photo of my dog catching the rays today. So while I was printing that out, I pulled out this background stamp and it's brickwork. Um, I pulled out Wilted Violet Distress Ink and then I figured out how I was going to put it all down and what bits I wanted and all that lot. And I was putting it on the stamp and I was like, Do you know what, you can't even see this. You really can't. Wilted Violet is quite sort of pale in colour as it's going on the stamp. And I thought, oh, crikey, you can't see this at all. But then I stamped it and I was like, actually, that looks really good. So then I dried it with my dryer and I'm going to stick the stamp over the top of it. So I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so, so much for joining. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you click the book down in the bottom right hand corner, you'll be subscribed. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified. Don't forget to leave us comments, likes, kisses. We love all of that. We really do. Okay. This is me doing all the comments and kisses bit down below. Take it easy guys. Have a nice one and I'll see you next time.